Hi guys, I'm John Quilter, aka The Food Busker, and I'm gonna share with you my North African lamb chops. They're absolutely amazing. They're the ultimate lamb chops and perfect for barbecue season. Now, when we're barbecuing, we think about the marinade, we think about the meat we're using, but we don't always think about the drinks that we serve. Now, luckily, those lovely people at There's A Beer For That have hooked me up with these two great beers to try with my lamb. This dish is all about the marinade. You get the prep done the day before, so when you're barbecuing, you just whack them on the barbie. First up, let's make a garlic puree. We're just gonna get nice thin slices. Okay, once you've got it hacked down to that, get some nice good quality salt, sprinkle in olive oil, a smattering, and what we're going to do is we're going to macerate that garlic and obliterate it down to go into the marinade. Scoop that up and drop it into your bowl. Now we're gonna grate a whole onion into that bowl. Now I'm gonna zest a lemon and I'm gonna squeeze the juice in as well. So let's mix all those ingredients together. Now I'm gonna get eight tablespoons of olive oil into a warm pan. Two tablespoons of cardamom ground down, then two tablespoons of ground coriander seed, two tablespoons of sweet smoked paprika, two tablespoons of ground cumin, and then the secret weapon is two pinches of beautiful saffron. All that flavor is gonna go onto your lamb chops. Let's take it off the heat and get it into the onions. We've got this beautiful rack of lamb. It's not been trimmed, it hasn't had the fat taken off. Let's cut them down into chops. Now make sure as you put the marinade over that there's an even spread all around the lamb chops. You wanna get them completely covered. Now let's season them with some salt and pepper. Look at those guys, they look beautiful already. Now I'm gonna cling film them and put them in the fridge for a minimum of 12 hours, but they work best left overnight. Right, just look at that lamb. Look how it's taken on all those seasonings, those spices. It's really succulent and it's ready to hit the grill. I'm grilling these, but they're perfect for the barbie. I'm cooking them for about three to four minutes on either side to get them nice and rare. Time to serve your friends and family. Let's put the lamb onto a platter, garnish with a little bit of coriander, and then finish off with a little sprinkle of salt. Okay, time to try the beers. So first up is the Coast to Coast. Oh, that looks good. I've worked up a bit of a sweat, so I'm ready. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, so refreshing. And it's really sweet. Okay, let's try it with the lamb. Oh, really sweet and fruity, and that really complements the power of the lamb. It refreshes your palate. Okay, let's try the other one. Lagan Eaters IPA. This one has got a lot to live up to. Beautiful color. Oh, that's really different. And then let's try it with the lamb. Oh. <laughs> a marriage made in heaven. It's, you've got this robust, beautiful lamb meat, and then You've got this sort of tropical, fruity beer, but it's also got this like bitter element to it. And more carbonation, a bit more effervescence. For two beers that looked quite similar, I'm getting really different flavor combinations from both with the meat. You've got to try this at your next barbecue. Really, really worth doing. See you later.